guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another subscriber request. This one is fairly straightforward, but nevertheless, there's some interesting techniques that we need to uh, pay attention to. And today we are going to model a coffee mug. Okay. Now we're going to start off with a simple polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that out, pull that up. In our attribute editor, we are going to give that, let's say, 30 subdivisions. We'll do zero on the caps, and we'll do eight in height. Okay. We're going to right click, go to face, select that top face, and get rid of that. Now, so far we've got an empty can. Okay. We're going to switch to our front view. We're going to right click, go to vertex. Drag select all the vertice rows with the exception of the one on the bottom, and we're going to hit R and we're going to start to scale that out. Skip one row, do it again, skip one more row, and maybe one more time, like that. Okay, then we're going to go to object mode and we're going to stretch this out until we roughly have the height of a normal coffee mug, if you will, okay? Hit W to pull it up to onto the grid. Okay, so that's not bad. Now, we will be uh, smoothing this out later, so we need to maintain that shape. So for that, we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, and we're going to add an edge row up here, and we'll do one down here. Hit Q on your keyboard. Right click object mode, select it, and let's hit three to see what that looks like. Okay, not bad. All right, hit one to go back. Now, one problem we got right now is that the walls are very thin, so we need to give it some thickness. So, while we have the object selected, go to edit mesh and under face to extrude. Then, in thickness, we'll do 0 0.35 which gives us this, and that is not bad. Okay, again, we're gonna select it, object mode, hit three on our keyboard, and let's check to see what that looks like. And it looks clean, smooth, so that's fine, okay? Go back and hit one, so we're in our modeling mode, if you will. And now next, we are going to connect the um, the ear to the mug. For that, it's important that this vertical edge here is aligned with your black grid line down here. Okay, so we're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that just a little bit. Okay, so this is aligned. All right, okay, so what's next? We need to decide where to position the ear of our mug. Okay, so we're going to right click on a face and I'm going to select these two faces hit delete and the bottom two will let's see either here or here let's do this okay all right cool okay so now we need to create this here right makes sense now for that we are going to take a torus and when we create this torus, we need to keep in mind that we have vertices uh, that we need to connect, okay? So how many do we have? We got, and I'll just go right click vertex. We got one, two, three on top and one, two, three at the bottom, six, okay? So when we create that torus, we need to keep in mind that um, the subdivisions align, all right? So we're gonna take our polygon torus, pull that out. We're going to hit E, we're going to rotate it until it's at 90 degrees. And let's check out the uh, subdivision count. Okay, so that's currently at 20, and we are going to go to 6. Uh, sorry, we need 6 there. And here we can do 30 or so. All right. Now, it's a bit thin, so we need to uh, give this some thickness. So hit R and 
scale that out. And we will be deleting half of that. So we're going to switch our view to right here. We're going to right click, go to face, drag select, and delete that part. All right. Okay. Now, right click, go to object mode. Let's move that towards a scenario where these openings are lined up or as close as possible. Let's pull that up. Okay, we're getting there. Now, let's see what's going on from this end. Bring that in. Okay. Now, let's see if we can tweak this. Okay. So, uh, we are going to increase our section radius. Let's try two. That is actually not bad, maybe a bit less. Uh, where do you go? We'll do 1.5, which looks slightly better. Yeah, looks a bit better. Okay. All right. Now, we still need to tweak this a little bit. Okay. So let's check it from this view. Uh, we need to bring it down and we're going to rotate it somewhat. Okay. So we're going to focus on the top and see if our choice of faces worked out or not. Not quite. Top, yes. Bottom, not so much. So let's see if there's something that we can do about that. There, there is. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to edge, and we're going to take these edges. And now I need to figure out where that thing is because everything moved around in uh, my 2015 and I'm looking for the fill hole. There we go. And oops, sorry about that. And we need to add one edge there to clean that up. So I'm going to go to my uh, multi tool here and uh, we'll do multi cut. And I'll hold down my control key. There we go. All right. So now we need to, ah, sorry about that guys. Okay, now we need to uh, take out these faces right here. So hit Q on your keyboard, right click face. That's one. And that's two, okay? So what we need to do next is we need to connect these vertices, all right? So for that, and I'll just get rid of this guy here. You're going to uh, right click on a vertex, okay? And we are going to connect these. So I'm going to take these two and go to merge components. Let's try that again. Set guys, edit mesh, merge components. Doesn't want to play ball. Give me one sec. All right, and I'm back. Well, I figured out what the problem was. We need to select both and we need to go to mesh and combine. And now we are able to connect these vertices. Okay, so right click vertex, select one there, select one there, go to edit mesh and merge components. There we go. I'll do a few more and then I'll pause the video and I'll do the rest so you guys don't have to wait. Okay. Hit G on your keyboard. Select that and that. Hit G on your keyboard and so forth. Okay. I'm going to do these and the ones down here and then I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys. So they're all connected as you can see. And 
we maintain the quads everywhere, which is important. The only thing we need to do is to see if we don't have any pinching going on and so forth. So what we're going to do now is we have our object selected and we're going to hit three on our keyboard, which gives us our smooth mug. And as you can see, it's nice and clean. Okay. So let's uh, apply some uh, material to this. So right click object mode, right click assign new material. And uh, let's do a uh, Lambert. And we'll do white, why not? We'll create a quick plane here for our mug. Stretch that out and stretch that out. Assign new material. Let's do a Lambert and let's do um, kind of grayish. Okay. Actually, why not make that a Fong E? That's kind of fun. Could be in there somewhere. There we go. Yeah, that's better. We're quickly going to set up our render settings. So I'm going to go to Mental Ray. I'm going to select image based lighting, set up global illumination and final gathering. I'm going to bump up my quality to about 1.5. In my common tab, let's increase our image size to HD 1080. I'm just going to search for a HDRI file. Uh, let's see, where did I put these? There we go. And let's, uh, I don't know. We'll do this one. Why not? All right. I'm going to add one additional light. So create light and point light. Hit W to move that out. I'm going to pull that up. And I'm going to hit 7 on my keyboard so I can see what the light is doing. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, that's about right. Let's set up our resolution gate. There we go. Okay, and let's hit render. Well, there you go. This is our uh, final render uh, of our coffee mug. Like I said, fairly straightforward, but nevertheless, it contains a few techniques that uh, come in handy to know. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching and I'd love to see you guys back. So see you guys next time. Bye.